I'm going Bieska here today with Air Guns Arizona. We're going to be going over the SK-19 and how to tune it uh, with the pellet you desire for the power that you desire in the gun and get the most shots out of that setup. We have a lot of people come in and our call in, have issues uh, with, I don't get as many shots as I would normally get, that you advertise, etc. And we're going to show you how to tune the gun over a chronograph so that you're not wasting air and you can set the gun up to shoot the pellet weight you desire and still have good function of the gun. The gun does operate off of air, so it has to have a certain amount of air for the gun to cycle. So if you tune it where you're getting a real below, uh, low velocity, you can end up with malfunctions just as you would have shooting the gun on low pressure. So uh, we're gonna show you how to optimize and get the maximum benefit shot count. If you're tuning an air gun, you probably uh, realize that there's a point of no return where the pellet is already downrange and the air is still coming out your uh, transfer port and you're not reaching the potential of the air rifle. So today I have an SK-19, it's in 25 caliber. I've already loaded it with King Heavies. Um, we're gonna shoot over an Air Crony. We're gonna have a camera that's on the Air Crony. I'm gonna show you what two clicks of the power wheel does every time we fire, I'm gonna fire two shots I, every time I adjust the gun, and we're gonna watch how much the value changes. Um, power adjusters on every gun are not the same. There's backlash in screws, the relationship between the, the male and the female pace, how much tolerance there is. So just because it takes 20 clicks to come up in power and then 15 back down with your gun to where you were, doesn't mean it's the same with your fellow shooter's gun. So. Uh, we're going to go over some of we've gone over that now, but now we're going to prove the gun out and how it performs. And we're going to reach a maximum point where the rifle will only shoot X velocity with X pellet. Beyond that, you might go be able to go up 20 clicks, but you're just wasting all that extra air. So if you're looking for maximum velocity, this is how you tune your gun without wasting air. If you're looking for shot count, you set the 25 with kings at 900 like we do here before we deliver them and that'll give you about three full magazines 60 shots out of a standard 480 bottle if you put a 580 bottle on it you'll pick, pick up another magazine full of uh, pellets another 1920 rounds so we're going to start right now i've already turned the gun down it's shooting about 780 feet a second so we're going to see what happens when we fire it over the crony I'm already zeroed on the target. We have 776. We have 771. I'm going to go two clicks up, which is clockwise with the power wheel, and see what it does. Okay, we're about 800 average. We're going to go another couple clicks. We're at 844, 837. Two more clicks. We're at basically about 870. Two more clicks. Okay, we're at 900 feet a second roughly, which is where we like to tune the gun. There is more power available in this gun, so we'll just keep on going. Two more clicks. Nine twenty right now for two two more shots. Two more clicks. Okay, we're at nine about nine forty five. We're gonna go up another two clicks. At nine sixty, two more clicks. Okay, we didn't gain any velocity the last two clicks, so that pretty much tells me we've reached the maximum velocity on this gun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up another couple more clicks. There's one, there's two again. Up, oh, we're out of pellets, so we'll reload. Another thing to note is the, uh, the SKs come set up 100, 145 bar. There is no reason whatsoever to turn this gun up beyond that. Um, you're gonna achieve the maximum velocity 
with the power wheel and all you're going to do changing the rake pressure is basically lose shot count and waste air. Some people have issues with the, uh, the pellets. They say they fall out. Uh, my recommendation is if you have an issue with that or you want to, I think they're probably slightly more accurate if you take a ballpoint pen and just push the felt pellets forward in the magazine. I don't take time to do that. I just push them in there, seat them below flush with my thumb. and Okay, we're reloaded. We went up another two clicks. We're going to fire another couple shots. Okay, we went up a little bit. We're at 982. We'll go up another couple clicks. Oh, it's still climbing, 994. Two more clicks again. We're at about 990 average. I'll go another two clicks. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty much staying there. I've gone up six clicks now and it hasn't changed. So. We've reached the point where I'm gonna turn this wheel up all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've gone up 50 more clicks. We're gonna fire a shot from where we fired the last shot. It went 10, 17. I can tell you we're probably wasting a lot of air at this point. So what I'm gonna do is if you wanna know where you're at, just Turn it back down. Okay, we're at 990 and I came down quite a bit as you can see. There we are, the <laughs> at 623 feet a second. Uh, it cycled the gun, but I would say <laughs> A little more air pressure would be beneficial. We're at 721, and we're just going to go ahead and turn it up to about 900. 864, another click or two, we ought to be right there. Wow, we went through those pellets fast. <laughs> we'll give it a few more. All right, again, fire another shot. We're at 9.30. I'm gonna come down four clicks, see what it does. 8.63, go back up two. So 8.91 on both shots. I'm gonna one more click. 9.26, I came down a click. We're at 900 and about 10 feet a second average right now. So that's a simple way to tune your gun. You can set it up for a variety of pellets. If you shoot the uh, King Heavies at 900, you'll end up shooting the Kings at right about 1,000 feet per second. So I like to set my gun there. I get maximum shot count. And also uh, with the 25 grain King, I get a good flat trajectory as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's Don Golombieski here for Airguns Arizona and the SK-19.